Good morning, Cyber Traders, and happy Friday on the 21st of July. How's everybody doing this wonderful morning? Good to see you, Mark, Edward, Michaela. Good to see you, JJ, Pamela, Amy. Good to see you, John, all, Chris. All right, excellent. All right, looks like on a nice, uh, another hot day here on in New York on a Friday. Uh, looks like uh, we're going to have another interesting day. A couple of stocks uh, we want to kind of pick, you know, talk about what happened as of yesterday. Also talk about one of our famous stocks. I got caught again. Yep, yeah, they got me. Uh, uh, they got me a little bit right there. You know, Ken, uh, regarding on that uh, dryers, but I got out of it. Uh, they got me for a little bit. I thought we had a little pop there, but uh, that's okay. It's one thing. Uh, let me tell you, if I still had it when I originally had it, I, <laughs> I'd be I'd be looking for more money to use. But um, I, it's just unbelievable. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But more importantly, let's focus on what did do really well yesterday and look at some of the big winners that start off with the AEZS. That stock had a really, really nice push yesterday. And after hours, something came out. Thing made a big move again. Now, um, personally, I would probably would stay away from it right now because it is going to be testing resistance levels right around here at 340. So it doesn't really look like there's going to be that much room uh, to make a move on it. If you go back a year, I mean, you're right there in a major, major resistance level. So guys, personally, I think the a AEZS is finished, okay? Totally done with it. I'm out of it. I might even make a, uh, a part three of that series of gap fills uh, because it really worked out in our favor, um, that video. Sometimes it's just... You, know, you take a shot and I make a video because I want to share and to educate you guys. And then you wake up to this and see what happened here. And it's unbelievable when you see a stock like AEZN. But it was a good move yesterday. But overall, we're going to stay away from it. Not really necessary. Uh, we may we, Let's go find another victim. Uh, another nice little moving stock that had a nice little push. The ESES. -E nice slow mover. Um, Kind of moved more in the middle of the day. You could have traded a lot of shares of it. it. wasn't a huge winner, but it was okay. The SPRT uh, also, oops. Uh, no, I got that wrong one. SRPT. <laughs> I'm like, I, I must have spelt it wrong. Okay, SRPT had a really nice move yesterday. Um, also, from the day before, had that big, big gap fill, which you could see it right here after hours. And then it had a nice push going over the course of the day. That was another nice little winner for us. A um, little bit more on the expensive side. I know some of you guys did pretty well, the, but you got to be more in the three, four category uh, level of a, of, cyber, of, of a cyber trader to trade the stock. And then uh, T-Mobile was other another one that also did pretty well, too. T-Mobile was a great short on the downtrend. Uh, listen, T-Mobile has been on a big move um, from 35 all the way to 70. I was a big fan of T-Mobile. Um, unfortunately, I sold it cheap. You know, it was one of the stocks I did not hold on a swing trade. But I'll tell you one thing, looking pretty damn good on that Ferrari trade. Look at that race, R-A-C-E. Did exactly what I told you was going to do yesterday. It was just going to sit there at 100, 100, 100, 100. So listen, it's going to probably back off a little bit right now. We did really well with that that that, that stock. Um, we need to break this barrier. If it does break 100, then um, the next quote unquote resistance levels of of a barrier, a number barrier is 120. So uh, if it does break a uh, it does break the hundred. That would be the next barrier. So we might get a little selling pressure here, and it's healthy when a stock backs off because you want to see it scares out all the profit takers and then obviously the ones that are in it for the long haul, uh, you'll see it. That's how you really know how to be a swing trader versus a day trader. All right, um, and, you know, one stock I do want to bring up, we're going to talk a little bit about it, is what's going on with General Electric? You know, this General Electric reminds me, this is like the godfather of, one of the oldest, most famous companies in the world um, here in the United States. And, I mean, General Electric's just getting hammered. My God, I mean, this thing is just like, uh, they can't do anything right. But, anyway, looks like a really good short. It's breaking 52-week lows. I mean, y y y it's not too far away. I mean, with the oldest thing that happened, every stock that rallied, gee, didn't do anything, you know? Uh, but you could see it. It's testing some support levels here. You know, gee's a little bit more of an advanced Market maker stocks can trade like three million shares already traded, so you got to be a little cautious when it comes to GE. But I just wanted to bring it up that they're talking a lot about it, 
and want to kind of just bring it up. Some of the stocks I do like that are moving this morning, look at Plug, P-L-U-G. Plug makes the batteries. Uh, Plug Power, it's got a nice little push, inexpensive. You know, it, stock got crushed. You could see it. Not terribly, but, you know, lately it's been building up a little momentum. So, you know, when you hear anything good, what's going on with the, with the electric cars, Plug is obviously the one you have to look at. The E, this one, let me change this right here. Wow, the stock was a ninety dollars stock at one point. Oh, it's pretty scary. Maybe it does got maybe it does got room for movement. <laughs> but the uh, AEZ as you can see already backed off a little bit, so let's put that on a on a, on a whole. It's got to break that major resistance levels. You know, it, and you know what? They're going to get a lot more shakes, Ken, as the day goes on. These guys get better and smarter, and you know the, the brokerage firms go put better traders on them. They'll say, hey, listen, guys, you know the stock's moving. Get off on on. Uh, Get off on Microsoft. I need to put you on the AEZS. We're getting, you know, we need to make some money back. You know, a lot of day traders in those stocks. So let's try to shake them out. All right. Um, the BCLI, nice push, nice volume, you know, up a little bit, breaking a 52-week high. Nice little stock right there. Kind of like that one too. ZN, a lot of you remember this stock at a dollar, went to seven, came right back down. She's got a little bit of a push right now. We've done really well with the ZN trade. Go back and look at your your journals. See how you did with it. Remember, we learned in 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 class regarding your journals. Add some notes. How that stock traded? What did it do? Did it have a lot of shakes? Was it a nice trend? Whatever it is. But that one obviously has got a nice little push also. Uh, I think we're done right there. And then obviously the famous dryers is making a move right now. Uh, listen, the dryers. I should be honest with you. They're just doing shakes right now. They're they're just trapping day traders. So, you know, it doesn't have a push at all. Um, I saw it take a little bit of a dive right here. It came back a little bit. It's testing these resistance levels. You know, this dryers is, is just, I feel like they're just trapping day traders and they're just setting people up, you know, and getting caught in it. So be very careful. Could the stock go up? Yes. Could the stock go back down? Listen, we've been here before. If you did really good journals on it, if the dryers goes up, just leave it alone. This thing is very, very volatile and dangerous. You know, those guys are really good professionals when it comes to that stock. Let's stick what we know, um, like this one right here, the TXMD. We've traded the stock before also, but it, it's testing some major resistance levels right here. If it breaks this resistance at, at 579, look for the stock to go a little bit higher. Got a nice push so far. COF had a great after hours report, uh, but it's uh, on the expensive side. So, you know, unless you're a level four, level five trader, uh, we'll pretty much scratch on that and everything else is everything else is just complete worthless there's nothing really out there so we got one two three four five six stocks uh, that we want to keep an eye on um, and regarding about the six stocks I mean listen we're gonna find some new ones as as the market opens up but you know it's Friday it's hot I told you it's not Fridays are not the greatest days to trade on on, uh, on especially going to the summertime but uh, but there's always something to, to make money with. So let's just uh, do what we've always trained, work together, learn from together, and just uh, let's just try to make money together. Uh, did you get dryers when it was a just value at twenty one thousand two thousand three? I'll tell you. Let me let me tell you what's going to happen with that stock, David. Okay, because I've been this before, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys ever get the letters in 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 the uh, you ever get letters in the in the uh, in the mail? Regarding about uh, losing, you know, like you, you were in a position as a uh, class action lawsuit. I get them all the time. Mark my words, there's going to be a huge, huge lawsuit against dryers. And um, if you did lose a lot of money on it, definitely fill. That's probably the only one I might fill out. Uh, last time I did it was with um, was with Oxford Health. But there's going to be some type of major, major lawsuit that's going to go on. Don't don't be shocked if you're going to get letters on that stock. All right, but um, I'd probably get like three, four a day <laughs> from companies. It's amazing. Anyway, good luck today, guys, and if I don't see you uh, this afternoon, um, enjoy your weekend. See you back here Monday. We have a lot of new traders that are starting today, so I'd just like to let you all guys know that are brand new. Look, listen, and learn is the phrase we go by, and then uh, traders, cyber traders, just tell them. If you see something, say something. Show them how we make money together, all right? All right, everybody, good luck today. Happy trading, and uh, I don't see you. Enjoy your weekend. See you back at 2.30.